After a multi-week search for two Kansas women, 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly, tonight Oklahoma authorities revealing the discovery of two bodies in rural Oklahoma believed to be the missing moms. On behalf of the entire FBI, I want to express our sincerest condolences to the family and loved ones of Veronica and Jillian. The pair left a small Kansas town in late March, court documents show, to pick up Butler's children for visitation at a birthday party, with Kelly only there to supervise the visit. When they didn't show up for the party, Butler's family went looking and found her abandoned car, which uncovered evidence of a severe injury, including blood on the roadway and Butler's glasses near a broken hammer. It's absolutely devastating. They were both young and vibrant, and they deserved more. Now, four people are behind bars, charged with murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy, including the children's grandmother, Tiffany Adams, who authorities say was in a years-long custody battle with Butler. State investigators saying the grandmother had later purchased five stun guns and three prepaid cell phones. Those phones then pinged at the last known location of Butler and Kelly at the time of their disappearance, according to police. The teen daughter of one of the suspects telling authorities her mom was part of a self-proclaimed anti-government group they called God's Misfits and told her things didn't go as planned, but they would not have to worry about Butler again. And tonight, the suspects who remain here behind bars have not been assigned counsel. Police say Butler's children at the center of this custody dispute are out of harm's way. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.